Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ray Torn. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn on the PlayStation 5. So I went ahead and copied all the restrictions we have, put them on to, to Rita. So she's good to go there. But the one thing we still need to do here for her, besides get her bed all made and that good stuff, is we need to take care of her schedule and her activities. So I believe we can just copy the cell from anybody else. See, I didn't realize that when we were doing this. We should have just made one of them out and then copied it oh. to the rest of them. Yeah. I didn't see that either. It's so tiny. So then we should. Oh, that was the paste one. So there we go. Wow. That's that makes super that super easy. Yeah, the copy and pasting is a really cool uh, mechanic that they they have here. So now we need to do her activities. So she's not set up for that yet. So with the healing, I don't really feel like she should be a priority on the healing. I think we'll leave her on three there. But she can heal. Yeah, she's not bad. She's not bad. And yeah, we'll leave her on the three for the handling. She's terrible at construction. Yeah, but we'll, we'll keep her on the three anyways because we like to have anybody construct. And she can learn how. Uh, the hunting, she's actually not bad at that. Mm -hmm. So what we might want to do is take Krista off the hunting. Or yeah, we'll just take her completely on it, off it and then leave her on the three then. Yeah, because I wouldn't think that Krista would want to do the hunting. Mm -hmm. And then with the harvesting, she's actually better than Krista and she's interested, which means she'll get happy. So she'd probably put her on a one there. Yeah, she gets crazy about farming. Yeah. And then Quinn doesn't need to do this. Not that he ever does it anyway. <laughs> and then with the, the physical task, she's she's not great with that, guys. Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> this is not her uh, her area of expertise here. So let's just put her on a four here for that one. Uh, ranching, again, she's, she's pretty good at that. Uh, so I think we'll go ahead and put her oops, on the one. And then with the planting, same deal. Uh, scavenging, that's a, a physical one. So again, we'll put her on the four there. Same thing with the mining. Uh, cooking, she's interested in it, as mm -hmm. Jinx said. So we could have her do it. And then maybe... I mean, she's interested, so we'll put her on a one there. I mean, we certainly need another cook since everyone's just sitting around starving sometimes. Yeah, mm-hmm. Now with the crafting, and we could have her do it. I mean, somebody needs to help out with the crafting, I feel. Uh, so maybe we should have... Laura actually has a crafting skill point. So maybe we'll have Laura step that up. Now somebody needs to help with the crafting. Uh, same thing with the tailor in here. And then uh, assembling. So that's again the, the crafting skill. So we're just going to keep adjusting them as we have them here. Yeah, that looks pretty good, guys. And then for the observing, we already have two good observers here. And Ember does it as well. So I don't really think she needs to be prioritized for that. Yeah, not really. Let's bring her up to four for that. Um, research. Yeah, I feel like she doesn't really do that either. And delivering's fine. Okay, so everybody's looking pretty good on that front. Let me go and let it play. We do need to fix her floors, but we can keep that playing while we do it. Yeah, she needs a pretty pink floors. I've already got her weapons being created. But yeah, one of the things we want to talk about in today's episode is our general feelings regarding the game, including like some of the more negative things, because we haven't really talked about those. Why is Amber just standing there? <laughs> she was hammering on something. Yeah, she's mostly just standing there. She's admiring the room, wishing it was hers. That's kind of weird. Now she's going to sleep. Okay. So that was strange. So I was hoping Rita would be able to get into the bedroom tonight, but clearly that's not the case. But yeah, some of the negatives I'd say, you know, we briefly mentioned at the end of the last episode how we haven't really seen the, the relationships develop mm -hmm. and, and that's been one of my major complaints with it so far is that unlike RimWorld where you're seeing this constant like uh, development of characters and then particularly character relationships with each other we don't really see that in this game at all no not really like I do like that they each have their own individual personalities and all that mm -hmm. but 
I haven't really seen like relationships build. Yeah, they like some characters more than others, but I haven't really seen any deep relationships. Yeah, that you could see them get like a penalty or you know with a person. They they clearly have opinions of each other. Like you know we, we've seen that. Like if we just select Connor here per se, and oops, okay, I'm not gonna be able to do this while we got this plan. <laughs> So yeah, if we just select Connor, I mean, we could really just do anybody. But you can see that they he has a plus 16 with Ember and a negative 20 with Krista. That's it. They've been together for a year. I mean, Krista's new. He doesn't like her. But, like, that's it? That's the relationship yeah. so far? After a year together? That's all you got to say? They don't dislike each other. They don't like each other. But There's I mean just... Nothing to it. Maybe it takes years and years and years. Maybe, but you're three years in. Yeah. And true. you've been playing the hell out of this game. Yeah. And I mean, the max amount of characters that you can even have is eight. Yeah. I mean, we already have six here. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like the characters really just don't... Well, here's the, the cloth blossom. I thought you said it was cotton. It is cotton. It's very similar to cotton. Okay, well, it's cotton. <laughs> it's alien cotton. So we're going to want to get that planted now, guys. I don't know if we left space for it. But yeah, it just feels like the character development. There's not much to it. I guess we'll do the cotton one here, whatever we can fit. No, not right there. Trying to, well, I guess you can't do it right there. Okay, so I don't want it to block too much here. Yeah, we can't put it there. So I guess we could just do it like this. I suppose it's not optimum. I think that would be plenty. I'm trying not to, uh... I'm trying to have, like, a walkway, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We'll just do that. It seems like you need a lot of cloth. Yeah, you do. Oh, Aww. no. Daisy died while pregnant. Uh, no Daisy. Seems to be frequent. Daisies are delicate, apparently. <laughs> so we got a butcher. Oh, burgers all grown up, though. Which is going to result in some disgusting... <laughs> Should we butcher burger, too, then? But you can't live around your father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is... It feels like... And it hasn't... Well, Quinn bonded. I was going to say nobody's Aww. bonded with... So is he going to be devastated if we kill her? Probably. That's his friend. Nobody bonded with Daisy. I mean, we could go get another female and hope... <laughs> hope he goes after her instead. Could get another male and kill Bruno, but he is also already bonded with somebody. Uh, we need to get all this harvested here. Let's go ahead and get somebody set up to do that real quick. Because, yeah, we find ourselves constantly needing the leather so get that harvested i think i might need to set them up to make the leather right now yeah i don't think we actually have them set up to do that they might be i don't think so yeah it looks like we have the the veggie bark but not the the actual leather here um so yeah we need to get that set up so let's go and do the crafting veggie leather and probably just a bunch of this like i don't know what do you think like a hundred yeah yeah, we'll do 100 there. We'll get that set up. So we got a roaming out, going to get all that for us. We're looking for more cows. And aggressive animals are happening. Right yeah, now, you really, really got to fight the scorpions. Yeah, all the time. It does seem like, you know, things are, are really just different based on the map you're on. Yeah, I have read that the seed dictates, like, what resources are around you, you know, the map, and also how many um, characters you get. So well, how many you, characters you can get total? Or how many characters you're, like, set to get with, like, the events and all mm -hmm. that that are lined up for you. I think my seed just kind of sucks for the characters. Because, like, there's events that pop up where I have, you know, maybe a chance of finding someone, but I just don't. We don't have any berries. No berries. So we can't tame. Fruit bush there, dead. Are there any other bushes out there? Hmm. I know the ones over there, but, uh... Might have to wait till ours come in for about a... Tame another... Another cow. 
Yeah, because we're getting kind of far out here. It'll be too late. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he wants to do that, I mean, like, are we really going to be able to stop it? Besides, like, straight up separating them? Oh. Uh-oh, they're coming. All right, so Laura is fleeing danger. She's running for her life. Run! Oh, geez, she got all up in there. Yeah. She went to go uh, harvest, I think. Oh, are they baby scorpions? <laughs> Some of them are kind of cute. All right, so Laura's fleeing danger. I didn't keep going after her. Yeah, it's a little tiny hatchling. That's an animal that I have not, you know, been able to find any, like, fondness for. What, the scorpion? <laughs> scorpions. Oh, you're talking in, about in real life? In real life, yeah. Like, spiders, I like looking at spiders on the internet and all that, and pictures of them, but scorpions I tried. Like, there's some of them are, that are kind of cool, but I'm like, how do people have them as pets? <laughs> They're terrifying to me. Yeah, I don't. I don't, uh, I don't want one as a pet. I don't want one anywhere near me. It don't particularly bother me, but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to be stung by one. Yeah, I remember I'm when I was a kid and I got stung. I almost stepped on one once. I did. Yeah, and I got pretty sick. It was luckily on my toe, though. So this I didn't is a new die, one, obviously. I Maybe. Mean, I thought we already salvaged that. Uh, did we get the extended salvage research? Maybe. Well, I know stuff is constantly falling. Constantly from the falling. Sky. Krista's going back out there. She's like, I'm going. <laughs> Don't do that, Krista. I'm gonna go punch a scorpion in the face. All right, Krista, come on now. Let's not do that. Can I like tell her to do something else? Is there anything else she can do? Why don't you go do this? Yeah, construct a skim bark carpet. She's like, but I wanted to punch a <laughs> scorpion. Because that's the last thing we need. Another injured character going out there. Is Laura, like, sitting there waiting for treatment or anything? She is. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. Ember's going to help Nobody her. Nobody loves you, Laura. Ember's going to help her. Reluctantly. She's like, oh. She's running. Look at her little jog. That's a granny shuffle. <laughs> She's pretending like she cares. She's treating her, Jinx. She's got this. Alright, so it looks like Connor did a harvest daisy for us. So we're just waiting for those animals to attack. And then we'll get uh, everybody recruited and defending. Except for Rita. No point in recruiting her. Considering the fact that uh, she doesn't have a weapon. We still have not crafted a weapon for her. There is a spear, but it's a uh, Pretty crappy, and we don't want her fighting with the spear, anyways. She's got her bare hands. But yeah, that's one of one of my major issues so far is there's not really a lot of character developments or interactions with each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, they interact, like they talk and stuff. Jesus, Krista. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I gotta get the skin bark. No, just stay here and do this. It's so loud. That Laura's going out there too. Or maybe she, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say she's there. going to harvest the crops that we have, but that's not true. Nope. Come on, guys. You, you guys, guys are killing me. You guys sit here and think about yourself. What's it taking so long for them to attack? Usually they attack by now. I guess we don't, oh, I see. We don't even have it on uh, the full speed here. It I'm just going to have to keep on. hours. Jesus. Jesus, guys. <laughs> You're killing me. I mean, you could go ahead and draft them, I guess. Yeah, but I don't want to. Like, because I don't know how long it's going to take. True. I could cancel it. Oh, and we're oh, about to... Nice. I guess we'll just have to cancel it, guys. Because otherwise, we're just going to keep on going out there. Cancel that crap, man. Now they attack. Are now you freaking serious? <laughs> really? Jeez, come on, guys. That's theirs. Tell me that's Their not. Their skin bark. Yeah, but I stopped harvesting it. It puts the lotion <laughs> on the skin bark. <laughs> All right, so now we need to get everybody recruited, or everybody but Rita. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just draft everybody. And I don't think it'll let you draft Rita, right? Yeah, because she doesn't have a weapon. So she doesn't even draft up anyways. Although, you know what? I think we're going to undraft Connor and let everybody else get some combat skills. 
Maybe I'll regret this. Can Kratos help yet? Um, like, can we get into trouble here? Yeah. Yeah, you can draft him. So we could draft him. And then just put him in here and, you know, if anybody gets into trouble, we can protect him. But yeah, I think we're going to let Kratos, or excuse me, let Connor have a rest here. And also, I'm just trying to get the combat skill up for everybody. Because he's the only one that's been getting combat skill. Because he does the majority of kills with that big old long sniper, sniper rifle mm -hmm. he has. And so when he dies, which, you know, he's not doing so well health-wise. If he dies, then nobody else is going to be able to defend. I mean, Ember's all right. Yeah, obviously. We need somebody else who's capable. Well, I'm going to snatch his eyeball out. <laughs> get his robot eye. It looks like the bow's got a lot of range. It does. It just, it's slow to shoot, I think. Maybe we want to put... I mean, I guess not as slow as the crossbow. But. Maybe we want to put these guys down here for shooting then. And then have the bow up on the top. Maybe that makes more sense. So let's put him over here. And Krista over here. Alright, yeah, that'll work. And then we'll have two people still working. You know, it's something we haven't done before. We've always got all of our people. Well, we haven't always had everybody, but since we're getting the larger uh, animal attacks. We need another little, like, outpost thingy. All right, so these guys got good range here. And she's already firing on them. But yeah, she, it's really slow to fire. Hmm, yeah, I don't know if they'll be able to do this alone. I mean, the flamethrowers will help. Luckily, that gun seems to do pretty good damage. Yeah. And then we got Kratos as well. He can attack if need be. I mean, they seem to be handling it okay without Connor. Yeah, it's fine. They're running. They're so scared they're running. Or maybe he's getting a better position to shoot. I don't know. Flamethrowers help a lot, though. Yeah, they do. I'm also worried about Connor's, uh, the health of his sniper rifle. I don't know, I don't know if you noticed, but his sniper rifle, the health has been depleting. No, I haven't noticed that. Yeah, so, it doesn't last forever. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, the railgun sniper, it's that's 63%, sure. Shape. Well, that's another thing to be concerned about. So, we also have this meteor rain here. So, metal containing meteors fall to the ground, dealing damage to the blast area. You're probably going to destroy our whole base. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, is it done? Oh, we killed all of them. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Is that still Daisy on the right there? The yeah. Time? Just Daisy that's dead. I think. Or is that the... No. Oh, okay. I think it's just Daisy. We never did get rid of the notification for it. All right. So we can go ahead and get everybody undrafted. And get back to work, folks. Nothing to see here. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he was not included, as Jinx said. The dog doesn't get included in the un everybody thing, unfortunately. We didn't even need him anyways. No, but he's a good really. dog. All right, so you can see that we are starting to run low on some types of food. We got a lot of meat, though, from our cow dying. When are these harvestable? Probably a while. I guess it just got planted, huh? So yeah, we're going to have to be patient and wait. Still, it's growing pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it. Yeah, it's at 55% there. Yeah, it seems to be doing pretty good. Wasn't there something that we were waiting for on getting this when it came to, like, research? I thought there was something we were waiting on. Hmm. Could have swore. I don't know what it was. Could have been anything in here, though, honestly. That's true. There's a lot of things. It's all good stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. When's that puppy coming? <laughs> <laughs> I need to see the puppy. Jinx wants a puppy. I don't have the musical instruments yet. I'm disappointed I didn't get a guitar when I made the musical instruments. They don't have guitars? No. Hmm. Or maybe it's like you get two random instruments because mine's like a didgeridoo. Uh huh. Well, the didgeridoos are cool. And a, a steel or tin drum. Oh, yes, yeah, it's still. I'm fine. not saying they're not cool instruments, but I wanted a guitar. <laughs> All right, so let this speed up a bit, because everybody's about to go to sleep here. Uh, we never did get the bed constructed. Ember really likes this room. 
Well, let's get the, the bed. We, we'll see if we can get it done in time. So we're looking to get the skin bark bed for Rita. In fact, let's force Ember to do this. So you gonna stay in there staring at it. So yeah, we'll have her do that since she loves the room so much. Let's have her get this constructed right before everybody goes to sleep. <laughs> um, and then hopefully Rita doesn't go to sleep yet so that we can... Well, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get it done in time. I don't know, Rita's going to sleep now. Oh, I thought she was hungry. So, so. another night on the floor for her. Man, she'll get disturbed. Well, maybe not. I thought her walking on top of her yeah. would disturb her. Yeah, Ember just plowed right yeah. over. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be for Rita. And I guess we'll wake her up so she doesn't have to sleep on the floor again. I don't know. Let's see here. So let's deconstruct that. She's like, but I'm tired. Yeah, go to that bed. Yeah, but you know she wants to sleep in her private bedroom instead. All right, yeah, so... That is pretty cool. That's all... The bedrooms we have we do need to add a window in there oh yeah we didn't do the windows in any of these ones i don't know what the temperature is in here 63 it's all still pretty nice but you know what we should not be using these anymore huh oh hell no yeah it's like hot in here look it's in the 80s we got the heater Jeez. blowing yeah let's extinguish that that <laughs> yeah these are all still running and that one is are those the only heat producing things we have i think so and then we'll go ahead and uh, copy this and get it. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't say open it. I said copy, damn it. Huh. Oh, okay, that's open all doors and windows in this room, I see. Well, that's confusing because it's the triangle button, but it's also the triangle button to copy. Oh, yeah. Then we'll just place one here just so they're all the same, though technically on these outer rooms you could have like a window on the wall. So yeah, we'll get them the windows. I don't think it's uh, warm enough yet to actually have the windows open. So I probably want to keep them all closed for now. Yeah, it's not like summer, summer. Mm-hmm. And we lost part of the harvest. Why? Is there a reason for that? Bugs? I don't know. I guess we can look. Maybe it'll tell us. Falling plants have lost their yield or are no longer harvestable. Oh, it was over here. Why are you notifying me of that? Oh, yeah, they do notify you. Like, if you have stuff highlighted out in the wild oh, for them okay. to do, it'll be like, oh, that's no longer available. I see. I see. I see. Um, I suppose we could harvest all this here. I don't know that we've actually collected any of this yet. Because it was winter, so we couldn't get it at the time. We'll get all that set up to be harvested as well. And some more bug meat is about to rot away. Oh no. Oh well. It's not like an era people eat that crap anyway. Bad. There's not a puppy to eat it. <laughs> it seems like it does take them a while to have a baby. I guess it makes sense though. Ah, oh, I thought that was the baby notification. I feel like I shouldn't have taken that wall down. That looks weird, right? Uh, it does look weird. Is there a wall there? <laughs> I didn't put I took the wall down. Oh, I see. Yeah. I thought you would, like, sometimes the wall does get a little wonky with the camera. No, I just took it down. I don't know why I took it down. I really shouldn't have. Yeah, let's do that. And that will make sure that these are considered two separate rooms as well. Yeah, we need to get the, the freezer in here. So that would be... And storage, I suppose. Also, the wardrobes. Somebody told me that that has a lot of space. So I was thinking we put wardrobes in here. But for now, let's get the freezer. That thing is huge. Yeah, it is. I don't even have one of those. I just use the refrigerator. I think this is what makes it last longer. So maybe like... See how we want to do this. Hmm... Thinking like on this side perhaps, and then have like a, make this its own little separate room, you know what I mean? Yeah, it could be. I was thinking that you were going to put a hallway between the kitchen and that room next to that shelf there. Yeah, I was. I was oh. going to turn this into 
Uh, just put one of those door thingies. Uh, so let's actually do that now. The doorway. Door mm -hmm. thingies. You know what I mean. Yeah, the door <laughs> thingies. Yeah, we'll put it in right here. And then, yeah, I'm thinking of, of actually setting up some some walls here. Just because. This is going to look more like a house. So yeah, we'll do the, uh, the planks here. And then maybe do... Something like like that. That's a weird room. That's where the fridge and freezer are gonna be. Okay. And we might even have some room for storage. Oh, look at all yeah. these electronics. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that'll be super helpful. So hopefully they get this all constructed over here. Laura's over here planting her cotton. While uh, Connor's cooking and Quinn is crafting. Connor gonna make some bread. What's everybody prioritizing? A lot of our stuff is rotting away. It lasted a long time. I think it only lasted as long as it did because of the winter. Yeah. It was all frozen. It outside. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's why all our stuff is going bad now. Mm. Having my own bedroom is a treat, said Quinn. Not a privilege. <laughs> uh, we did get that bow constructed for Rita. So Rita needs, well, I guess we'll let her finish transporting. She's about to feed the animals. So we'll let her complete that and then we'll make sure she gets the bow. Oh, Bruno, you adorable thing, you. <laughs> uh, so let's gonna give her the, the short bow. So she'll have a weapon to defend herself. See, I wish they would prioritize this over here. Might have to force them to. Yeah. Oh, they're sleeping. Never mind. You're not prioritizing shit. Mm -hmm. Man, we're already five days in to the new year. I could see how you would uh, get three years in and still feel like there's there's a lot left to kind of do. Yeah. Because yeah, it does seem like it takes like a week just to get tasks done sometimes. Because they're doing all the other stuff you have assigned to them. Mm-hmm. And there's like all the little adventures on the balloon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you got them doing that as well. And you were sending people out all the time oh, because yeah. you were trying to find another character. I need more characters. Why is Quinn coming in and disturbing Ember to stare at the wall? Like, what the? Because he's a creepy guy. <laughs> that is creepy. That's super creepy. And none of them are doing what I want them to do. <laughs> <laughs> But they're doing what you told them to do. I mean, we do need the leather, and I the suppose. the priority that you told them to do it. All right, they're doing it. Ember's constructing the stuff. Good job, Ember. So she's going to work on that. I don't know what we'd use all this space here. I guess this is another bedroom, potentially, if we did get... It's the same size as the other bedrooms, I believe. One, two, three, four, yeah. This is another bedroom, if we found somebody else. Yeah... I don't know about all that. What, finding another person? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have been really lucky. I've been surprised. And then we'll probably want to put the same tile in here that we have. Is that the stone paving? I believe it's the stone paving. So put that in here. Let's look at that taken care of. So between the, the fridge and the freezer, the fridge slows down resource decay while the freezer completely stops it. But the difference here is that the freezer takes more electricity, it also is double the metal alloys, and it requires electronics. So there's a lot to, to consider there. So the only way to really put this in, put two of these in here, if I wanted two, would be to one here, and one here, I think. And then nothing anywhere else. Yeah, because it would be blocked. There'd be no other way to do this. Okay, so we're gonna put the first one here then. Because I do plan to put another freezer in. I imagine we'd need another freezer eventually. So that wood's going to have to be moved. Insufficient storage space for what? I don't know. Uh, all that leather. Oh, I see. What is all this space for? Oh, okay, that's for the big resources. We don't even have any of those. What's this space for? This is just isn't... Hasn't even been set to hold anything, right? No, this is all food. Uh, yeah, just cooked meals. Weird. Okay, so let's just get rid of one of these then. Have them move that 
And then this can just be, you know, everything else that isn't the crafting materials. Yeah, so just everything else can be here. So they'll eventually have to move that. I'm sure it will take them a while to get it done. But should satisfy our, our construction, or excuse me, our, uh, yeah, our storage needs. So yeah, should put that over there. And Laura's taking care of it for us. She's doing the thing. Yep. She likes moving seeds around. All right, so they're getting this done. We're about to get a freezer. So that's exciting. I don't know how we're doing electricity. We should probably take a look real quick. Um, so where is the, okay, there's, it comes up to 11. Currently, we still have to put uh, lights all throughout the house. Yeah, because it looks so much better. Yeah, and then with the freezer done, we'd want them to just store, I don't know, I guess everything in here, right? Yeah, why not? Like, I don't see why not. Well, do you want to prioritize oh, cooked meals yeah, so the cooked definitely. meals last longer? So this is the freezer. Yeah, this the is fridge, the freezer, right? Yeah. Mm. What should we prioritize in here? I would probably prioritize the cooked meals and maybe the meats if you're going to keep meat and not just dry it all. Yeah, I suppose we do dry it all. I think we have it set up to dry everything. And there's no point in putting dried meat, right? Because it lasts a lot longer. Yeah. So yeah, maybe just cooked meals. That's yeah. all I put in my refrigerator. I don't have a freezer yet. How long does this stuff last? I mean, under the roofs, things last a long time. It's really, yeah, the uh, the cook meals. And then we could have more cook meals. And maybe we'll get in a situation where we don't uh, run out of food so quickly. Yeah. So, yeah, you know what? Let's just say none of the raw stuff and just do the, the cooked meals. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Uh-huh, and then we'd want to take the cooked meals off of this then. And then, yeah, just have the raw food mm -hmm. on there. Yeah. So they can move all the cooked meals into here. And they should last a, a lot longer now. How much storage do we have? We got a lot of storage in there, too. So yeah, we could even step up the amount of cooked meals we allow. Though I'm not sure that we have the food for all of these. Two, four, six. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think this is probably good. All right, so we got a freezer now. We got a lot of idle people just sitting around. Um, well, I'm sure we got stuff for them to do, right? Doing nothing, just bullshitting. Yeah, there's the salvaging over there they can do. I guess we could step up our power more. Get like another uh, wind turbine. Yeah, let's get another wind turbine. Again, I'm just not sure how this works. It's like it's really wide over here. Yeah. I don't know. We'll just keep it all hooked up in the same place, and I suppose it's fine for now. I guess we got to have it. Does it move around based on the way the wind's blowing? Seems like it does. Yeah, maybe. So like, we'll place another one here. I think it does move around, but yeah, I just... Yeah, it does. You can see it's moving. I've got based multiple the... of those, and I don't really keep an eye on what they're doing. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I just know I needed more power. Look at all these birds eating. Oh, I thought that was a live <laughs> critter that was dying and just flopping around. I was like, that is violent. And we didn't finish it. No, what happened is we didn't... Uh, we didn't harvest any of this. That's not right. It's not harvest. What is it? Butcher? Oh, yeah. Butcher. Yeah, we didn't set that up to be butchered, which we actually need the bug meat. Might not be much left now. Because a lot of it's rotting. Yeah, true. We let it sit out there for a while. Um, So that's something that they can do. But clearly we need to set up something else for them to do. And I kind of want to give them something else fun to do. First of all, they, they played this outside. So let's move this. We can move it in here. Although, let's wait and see what else we can make. What other leisure things can we get? I mean, a lot of these seems like outside activities, don't they? Yeah. Do you have the punching pole yet? No, we don't. Yeah, you should get that. They so. love punching. All right, so we're going to move this in here, because, again, I think this is going to be another room in case we get another person. So we can have them do it. We can have them do it right there. And then um, we'll get that, that stuff constructed as well. The punching pole and the shooting target. Question is, where do we want to put it? I guess just over here. we got a ton of open space here right now. Yeah, but you don't have any hay yet. Oh. You need to go harvest some outside. 
I see, because yeah, we haven't even planted that yet. I suppose I could set that up since there is stuff that needs it. What all needs the the hay? I don't know, but it feels like I need a lot because this past winter that I lived there, I didn't have enough hay, and it seems like I needed it for stuff. So is that the blade grass? Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of uh, space within the fence anymore. We got this little bit of space here up against the fence that we can do. And I suppose that looks fine. Yeah, that looks fine. So yeah, we'll, we'll get that set up. That'll give people something to do. And we still have this being scavenged as well, or salvaged, whatever. So let them continue that. But yeah, we gotta make sure we keep our people working here. Keep them busy. Yeah. Idle hands are the devil's playground. <laughs> then uh, the light. start throwing hands. Yeah. <laughs> We never did get a statue either. We don't have a complicated power system with power switches and all that kind of good stuff. That's obviously something that you might want to do uh, for certain things. But yeah, we don't have it. Nothing too complicated. Don't need the heater yet. Uh, air condition, I'm sure our people would like an air conditioner. We do need to get more lamps. So let's do... They're just so nice. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some light in here. So we're going to get one right there. And then also, maybe one right here. What are you thinking? Mm. Where do you think I should place it? Yeah, I think that'd be fine. Right here? Yeah, it does pretty good at illuminating the room. And then maybe one in here as well. I suppose we could do one in the hall. Just to get rid of all of the, uh, all of this uh, little torch power here. And as Jinx said, the one extra bonus here is that they don't have to fill those up. Yeah, that's one last thing for them to, to do. So I'm noticing we got a ton of, of cloths and stuff over here now because of all that skim bark we harvested. <laughs> wow. Alright, so we could now get some of these clothes, but we don't even need them at this point. I suppose it's fine. Are they all still wearing winter gear? Yeah, they are. Yeah, it's not should... really all that warm outside yet, though. I mean, it's still pretty chilly, but I feel like we should probably at least start like working on making some spring and summer gear. Do they need like summer jackets though? Um, I not just figured like you just take the jacket jackets, off. But like the pants and the shirt. Oh, well, Connor's is nobody has any. This. Nobody has any shirts. Oh goodness! They've all been torn down. Rotted off of their bodies. Yeah, the problem is we don't have cloth. Because you can't make anything out of just the leather. Decent. Well, there might be something we can make out of leather, but we have like the. I guess we could do the the summer pants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. There's a lot of leggings, I suppose. There's that as well. I'm trying to think uh, or, or see if there's any. This one's clearly better for the armor. I guess we'll just do the le leather leggings and just do like a couple of these. I don't know how many they need. I don't know, we'll do like three or something like that. Cause yeah, you do get heat waves where it gets like ridiculously hot. And then we'll just get rid of the fur cap for right now. So we'll get that. And then the shirts clearly need to be done as well. So we got the leather vest. Let's do that. So we'll get like two of those. You gotta run around in your cool leather vest. Mm hmm Maybe that'll get, you know, some talks of romance going. <laughs> and then we'll do a couple t-shirts as well. With the cloth. I don't know how much cloth we actually have, though. Yeah, cloth is still short. We have the synthetic textiles, I guess. But why not just have them harvest some of this? I know they gotta go out there and get it. They'll be fine. Yeah, let's just have them harvest any of those. Can you help me find... You seem to have a better eye finding the cotton than I do. Uh, so we're looking for cotton. Oh, here's some more over here. So this is enough we could warrant doing a group order here. And I just overall like your map better. It is a pretty cool map. Mine is surrounded by like the scorpion nests. I haven't had to fight any scorpions yet, but their nests are everywhere. And it's like all rocky. You want my seed, Jinx? I want your seed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
good times. Uh, we could have them harvest all this blade grass over here. So we're just sending them all out there. Uh, Here's some work. buttermelon. Is this not harvestable yet? Huh. Okay, you gotta cut it rather than harvest it. I see. Okay, so just all oh, take care of that for us. So we'll get all that uh, harvested. What'd you say? There's buttermelon? Yeah, right there. Oh, yep. Yeah. Alright, so we can get all this harvested too, because we've been waiting for the spring to come and to start growing the wild crops. Since we don't really have many of our own yet. We need pie. Yeah, we need pie, guys. So yeah, we'll just get all this wild stuff harvested. I know they're going to have to walk far, but... I don't really care. They are really far. Yeah, but you know, they've been whining about not having anything to do, so... Did you ever undraft the dogs? Yeah. Okay. I only drafted the one dog anyway. Oh, that's right. Kratos was the only one who could be drafted. Spaceship debris crash. Uh, crash. A large burning object, most definitely a chunk of spaceship, was seen crashing in the distance. If left as it is, anything salvageable will perish in the following days. There's always something... To be out there grabbing up. It's almost nighttime, right? Everybody's gonna go to sleep. Yeah, everybody's well, gonna Rita sleep. Rita was in a hurry. She's like, get out of the way, I'm tired. <laughs> so unfortunately we do have to end today's episode. I guess the last thing we'll do here is deconstruct these, if I can select them. Just so I don't forget that that needs to be done. I don't know how many of these we have here. Uh, Just the three, I think. I think. Oh, yep, there's one. All right, so we'll get that done. Yeah, things are moving on nicely here in year two of our campaign. Got some crops going. Uh huh. Are these like harvestable yet? Yeah, almost. Yeah, all this is almost harvestable. Not the other crops, just these two. They seem to grow really quick. Yeah, they grow very quick. All right, so we'll get all that harvested. We still don't have any berries. I wonder if those have grown in yet. Hmm. Yeah, berries seem to be a problem here. All right, so unfortunately, we can't get ourselves another cow to replace Daisy yet. Yeah, everybody's going out there doing all that harvesting, getting to work, taking care of everything needs to be taken care of. And I just love how they <laughs> just leave everything here. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever they uh, deconstruct something, so like we just got right logs sitting in around. The walkway. Yeah, it's great. Go craft and cook, and not clean up our mess here. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.